Good afternoon, Fakeholic friends. Um, sorry for the noise that might be distracting, but it's necessary for us to have any fruit here to uh, deter these birds from eating all of our fruit. And also apologize for the wind noise, but I really enjoy the cooler weather today. This is a variety called Violet Patlican. And um, this is not the same as Patlican that I've also posted a photo of. This came from um, Encanto Farms, John Burdick, um, several years ago. And it's grown okay for us. It's got the structure that I like, but not a lot of vigorous growth. Um, when I came back through here last Friday, we didn't have ripe fruit. And now today's Wednesday, and there's, with the hot weather, we, we had 104 yesterday, and. 103 the day before, I think, um, and maybe 100 on Sunday. Now these fruits are over. Let's see if they're okay still. Hmm. No, by the way, my friend CJ, my good, great, generous friend CJ, and Dan also there, they share a lot of things. But CJ has really raved about this. This was a fig that really impressed him a lot last year. You know, I really thought this was going to be spoiled on me, but it's not. It's very sweet, so I think that's allowing it to dry right on the tree. Um, if when I recall this, when it's just properly ripe, it's got a moderate berry flavor. You can look at my website figaholics.com and I describe the different varieties there. This is a common type fig and um, I describe the taste profiles and also I should have another photo link there that when it was more properly ripened. Again this is Violet Patlican. Thanks for watching.